or to delay final judgment because of this issue hello nigerians welcome back to my youtube channel it is now very clear that the judiciary as the last hope of a common man has now come out publicly to state the reasons why they have not given their final judgment you see all the court proceedings that p2b has filed and the petitions he has filed has a jurisdiction and a time frame as a matter of fact the court has scheduled every details on how they are going to maneuver and give a final clear and edible judgment but as a matter of fact a lot of contingencies can also cause them to delay in their judgment and so many persons have reacted towards series of adjournment that has always occurred in p2b's petition against bola metinimbo series of adjournment as a matter of fact some persons sometimes you see judges of bola met uh, you know lawyers of bola metinimbo will not appear in the court Bola Metinimbu and Kashim Shetima has never appeared in the court. Even when the judge sent a warning message to them that they should make sure they appear in person to come and see the petitions that P2B has filed, they has never appeared in the court. They have always sent their legal teams to come and defend them. You see, it is not as if P2B that appears in the court does not have other du duties to do for the day. But he is always in court, irrespective of the fact that his legal team are there. He is always there so that he can see what is really happening, how far they have going, all the do's and don'ts, and really where it is probably indicting him or thereabouts. But Bola Metinimbo is not perturbed over it. All he does is just going, going, going about you know, making some clarifications and signing some documents and the rest of them. As a matter of fact, but some prominent politicians, likes of Goodluck Abele Jonathan, are not even happy over what is occurring at this point in time. The price of petrol is at a hike. Irrespective of the fact that Bola Metinibu has removed the subsidy, that is one of the reasons why P2B was asking, why did you, even in as much as I've supported you for the removal of subsidy, you know, but you ought to place the priorities right by placing relevant documents by making sure that the refineries that are dormant are functionable and workable instead of coming down to remove that subsidy. Moreover, after the removal of subsidy, it has caused a whole lot of crisis and hardship at this point in time. So many persons have reacted towards that. That is one of the reasons why Gulluk Ebele Jonathan and Bola Metinimbu are currently, you know, having a series of meetings to discuss the way forward that is going to favor the country. The question is, why is this petition being delayed? A lot of persons have questioned the fact. But it is now very clear that there are reasons that has delayed this judgment. You see, the court has often said that they are not going to judge and give their final verdict by technicality. They are going to make it by evidences. And those evidences ought to come down to the court for them to now see reasons in as much as p2b has filed the petition against bola metinimbu the court ought to see those documents verbally they ought to see those documents in total so that they can know what to do ahead of time as a matter of fact the legal team of p2b has the point of the petitions they filed against bola metinimbu was the fact that bola metinimbu had a criminal case in us now the court has demanded for those documents of which P2B's legal team has requested that the FBI release those documents. But as a matter of fact, they, they have stated that we can't release Tunimbu's criminal cases immigration record in 2026 due to unusual circumstances, FBI State Department is saying. Bola Metinimbu criminal and immigration record in possession of the United States won't be released until 2026, authorities said in court documents. The question is, why can't they release these documents now? This is part of the reasons that has been delaying these court proceedings at this point in time and for the court to give their final judgment. The U.S. State Department and Federal Bureau of Investigation cited unusual circumstances for denying to release the records to the public following a freedom of information request. The U.S. authorities said even if they were to release the records, it wouldn't be at the least until January 2026 before they could do so. The civil lawsuit has now been filed over the matter before Judge Howell of the United States District Court for the District of Columbia in Washington, D.C. An American public dis 
disclosure activist has filed a request to the FBI, State Department, Department of Treasury and Drug Enforcement Administration among federal and local agencies seeking an urgent release of Bola Metinibu's immigration and criminal records. The feeling came as Bola Metinibu maintained in court that he did not commit any crime during his decades, long alongside with other cases in the U.S. Bola Metinimbo has arrested ownership of his identity despite strong litigation in the court and evidences that P2B has filed in the court. Bola Metinimbo's re identity and education records contain omissions and contradictions that he has not explained to the public. For instance, the Nigerian president Bola Metinimbo has said under oath that the electoral office INEC while seeking to the Lagos governor in 1999 that he had attended the prestigious University of Chicago. The university had since disowned Bola Metinimbu. Another American school, Chicago State University, confirmed that Bola Metinimbu attended the school but did not say whether he was the Nigerian president as a documents from the school. Scored showed that a person bearing Bola Metinimbu who attended the school in the 90s, in 1970s, was a female. Bola Metinimbu also stated under oath in 1999 that he attended primary and secondary school in Lagos and Ibadan in 1950 and 1960. But he exposed those assertions from his latest INEC application form ahead of this year's general elections in February. He did not explain why he removed the claims, although there was no evidence that the primary school he said he attended was existence in Nigeria. You can now see this is the fact. This is the exact fact that P2B's legal team has said, give us these documents. They have written to them, but now they are stating that they are not going to release those documents in 2026. The question is, how can this final judgment come when these documents that are visible should get to the court, should get to the five-man panel of court led by Justice Harona before they will give their verdict? Because they are maintaining on the grounds that they are going to give their judgment by the clear evidences that is so transparent to the blind and loud to the deaf. Well, you have not seen the reasons and what has really happened. A lot of persons have reacted that Bola Metinima and his legal team are behind this seizure of the exposure of these documents from the U.S. What is your take over this? Is it appropriate for the U.S. to deny these documents that the court is going to use to see her reasons of giving their final verdict? React on the comment section. What is your take on this? What, is, what are you advising? P to this legal team to do at this point in the court, they need to take action and see the workable modalities they're going to work out so that they can get their final verdict. React on the comment section, advise Bola Metinimbu appropriately that he should appear in equity with fairness, justice, and clear hands. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, so that everyone will see the exact reason that has that is probably delaying the court judgment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button also so that you always get notified for all trending videos and all the court proceedings between P2B and Bola Metinimbu in this particular channel.